Hi, another good question from our patient. Why do oral surgeons perform sinus slitting procedure? There is an anatomical space that we have to take under consideration. It's maxillary sinus for the upper jaw. It's an empty space. The maxillary sinus functions for making a filter and warming the air, which arrives the first maxillary sinus and passes through the airway space and arrives the lung. This anatomical structure possesses a dynamic feature. It expands time by time, especially if the patient experiences a tooth extraction for the upper side and most posterior sides, the bottom of the maxillary sinus, the floor of the maxillary sinus, finds a space to expand. Time by time, it expands and as a result, it violates the space that implant is planned to be placed. So oral surgeons make a decision to elevate the sinus floor by some surgical techniques. How can we do that? First, we open a hole here and there's a very tiny membrane, like to give an example, like a vegetable onion. We elevate it with a special instruments. And when we elevate the membrane upward, we gain a distance between the elevated membrane and the bottom of the sinus. And this space is filled with a bone grafting material. If there is an available bone, a natural bone, before the surgery, oral surgeon may place the dental implant simultaneously with the sinus lifting procedure. This is called one-stage sinus lifting surgery. And the other one, if there is not available and sufficient bone before the surgery, the distance is filled with the grafting material, weight at least four to six months, and the grafted bone becomes new bone and the bone formation becomes completed and implant is placed four to six months after the first surgery. This is called two-stage surgery. We sometimes encounter a question from a patient's doctor, does it interfere our breathing function? Does it violate my breathing ability? Actually, the answer is no, because we take back the space that maxillary sinus took from us. We don't violate the maxillary natural volume, just only take back the space that we lost. And by this way, we will able to place the dental implant that we need. It's a safe and acceptable surgical application. You may prefer uh, if your medical and dental professional advise you this kind of surgeries. See you.